So as usual, I was telling you a little white lie. I, I just lied just a little bit, just for your own safety and benefit, but I need to clear up that lie. But it hit me as I was preparing to clear up that lie, I need to teach you about one other thing, and then in the next video, I'll actually clear up that lie. And the thing we need to talk about is right-handed versus left-handed coordinate systems. We obviously have three dimensions here. We're working with an X, a Y, and a Z. And the idea with a left-handed versus right-handed coordinate system is we need to be able to determine what our positive axes are. I like the colors red, green, and blue. Here's red. It lines up quite nicely with X. Green lines up quite nicely with Y. And blue lines up with Z. Okay, red, green, blue, X, Y, Z. Let's start with red. If your eye or your camera or your viewpoint, whatever you are, I'm going to try, try to draw a crummy eye here looking this direction. If you're in your algebra class and you have a piece of paper in front of you and your teacher says, graph this X, Y coordinate, then I bet your positive x axis went to your right your positive y axis axis then went directly up so you can imagine your eye looking at a piece of paper here x is going to your right y is going directly up well in a right-handed coordinate system I'll tell you why it's right-handed in a sec but in a right-handed coordinate system which OpenGL uses the z-axis, even though you can't see it, the z-axis is coming directly at you. It's, it's poking you in the eye. The positive z-axis is poking you in the eye. Positive x is to the right. Positive y is directly up. Positive z is coming directly at you. And the reason why we call this a right-handed coordinate system is if, if you hold up your hand, pick up your right hand, make a gun out of it like you're a kid and you're playing with your friends and you want to shoot each other, your thumb will point straight up. Your pointer finger or your gun finger will point this direction. Your arm's kind of coming in like so. This is my weak attempt at trying to draw your arm. Your thumb points straight up. Your pointer finger points along the positive Z axis. And then your middle finger, if you point your middle finger perpendicular to your thumb and your pointer finger, your middle finger will point this direction along the positive X axis. So this is why we call this a right-handed coordinate system. I'm going to shorten your arm a little bit. Let me put an R here though for right-handed coordinate system. Now let's do a left-handed one. Left-handed coordinate system is much like your right-handed coordinate system. I'll just put it right here. In a left-handed coordinate system, the X axis again goes to your right. The positive X axis goes to your right. The positive Y axis Again, point straight up. Let me draw your eye again. A really tiny eye looking this direction. The positive X going to your right, the positive Y going straight up. No surprises there. But then the positive Z axis goes into your paper. Okay, it doesn't come and poke you in the eye like it did with a right-handed coordinate system. Instead, with a left-handed coordinate system, your positive Z goes into the paper. Let me do your hand again. Pick up your left hand, make a gun out of it. Your thumb will point in the positive Y axis. Your pointer finger curls a little bit and goes down the positive Z axis. Then your middle finger will curl a little bit and go down the positive X axis. Then your arm's kind of coming in like that. Sorry for my pathetic hand, but the white ink here is your hand. Anyway, this makes a left-handed coordinate system. DirectX uses left-handed. OpenGL uses right-handed. And try as you might, you can never, ever get the positive axes of a left-handed coordinate system to line up with the positive axes of a right-handed coordinate system. You can get two of them. In fact, we have two of them. The Y's are pointing the same direction. The X's are pointing the same direction. But the Z's are pointing opposite. If you align the Z's up, then, then you'll notice either the Y or the X will fall out of place. And a nice exercise is to get a set of tinker toys and build these coordinate systems. And then try to get those those coordinate systems line up. You can never get them to line up. But this is right-handed versus left-handed. It doesn't really matter which one you use as long as you're consistent and your math is consistent for the coordinate system that you're using. Now, one last thing to point out 
in a right-handed coordinate system, the I is looking down the negative Z direction. Positive Z is coming at the I. The I is looking negative Z. Whereas a left-handed coordinate system, the I is looking positive Z. I found that the left-handed coordinate system actually made more sense to me to see the positive Z going into my paper like that. But OpenGL is right-handed, so I've just had to adjust and get used to positive Z coming at my eye, and I think negative Z is this direction. Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to show you why we needed to see these coordinate systems, and I'm going to tell you a little bit how I was lying, and then hopefully clear up the last bit, little bit of mud, and then we can move on and look at more of the projection matrices.